in the Bronx uniting tonight with a single message. Stop the violence and it comes two days after a 61 year old mother was killed by a stray bullet in Fordham. It's all coming as new numbers were just released by the NYPD today, showing overall crime is up more than 36% in the city from March of last year. Meanwhile, shootings are up more than 16% over that same time frame. News 12's Julio Avila, well, he is back at the scene for us tonight, where that innocent woman was gunned down on Monday. The desperate plea from the community tonight, asking for the violence to stop. Julio, what's it been like there tonight? Well, it's definitely been very powerful, and they didn't just say that message. They also wrote it out. Take a look over here at these posters right here. It says, Stop the Gun Violence. This poster has been here since last night, but new posters popping up earlier today. This one saying, Don't shoot with the image of a baby, and another one saying, Stop the Violence. These signs being posted during a rally here earlier, hosted by Bronx Rises Against Gun Violence, as they were joined by other community advocates advocacy groups and elected leaders. This city has been seeing a wave of violence and this spot also saw that violence when 61 year old Juana Soriano Perdomo was killed on Monday. Now earlier today the NYPD releasing its latest figures on crime showing a spike this year. The police commissioner adding however that officers and detectives are fully engaged in stopping crime on our streets right now saying there have been a total of 4,000 felony arrests so far this year which she says is an all time high in the last 21 years. But for those here, the story of violence seems to repeat time and time again. They recalled the horrific shooting of an 11 month old baby here in the Bronx back in January. Now, community, if that's not telling you that we need to do something about what's going on out here, then I don't know what's going on out here. This is too much at stake. If we lose these babies and we're losing our people in the month of April, what the hell are we going to do in the summertime? Some strong words there, Julio, from Borough President Vanessa Gibson. What else did she have to say to the people of the Bronx tonight? Well, she actually extended thanks. Thanks to the business leaders in this neighborhood for giving the youth employment because, as she said, employment is a tool to help deter these youth from being engulfed in a life of crime. Amanda? For that update tonight from the scene. Meanwhile,